encouragement from you guys that are here as we preach and do the word together. I want to continue on the theme apodexis. Apodexis, I was corrected this week. Apodexis. And with an emphasis today on Wese Yesu. Wese Yesu. That's U W E S E. Yesu. That's Nigerian. I don't know which part of Nigeria that word comes from, but I learned of it, I think, about two days ago, and I loved it. So it's going to be Uwese Yesu, which is thank you, Jesus. I don't know the French or whatever you guys, but the word Uwese simply means thank you. How's that? What's that? I don't know how you say thank you in French. Uh, but I hear that in Chinese it's shishi. That's how you say thank you. It's shishi. Yes. Uh, and then it's messi, right? Messi. Okay, that's 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 French. But either way, the idea is thank you. That's what we're going to be dealing with today. And as I lay my presentation today, it's going to be very very good and very instructional. Turn with me to Isaiah nine verse six, which is what we did uh, on Friday. Um, and those of you that are here for the first time, welcome. Gift welcome to church. Thank you for coming for the first time to church. Let's go to Isaiah 9 verse 6. And then from Isaiah, we are going to work our way through other texts, particularly Luke 1, 26 to 38, which is going to be what I'm going to read later on as I make my presentation and make my case. Isaiah 9 verse 6. And then we're going to receive our offering at the end of the service. I decided to just hijack everything. We'll receive the offering at the end of the service. Isaiah 9 verse 6. For unto us a child is born. What is born? Child. What is born? Child. A child is born. Unto us a son is given. What is given? Son. What is given? Son. So the child is born. The son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Father, we thank you for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Isaiah says, for unto us a child is born. The child dimension of Jesus is what Mary gave to the world. Mary was the mother of Jesus, had an angelic visitation. And on that particular day, she conceived a child. And that was the child dimension of Jesus. It was the bodily form of God that found its habitation in an earthly vessel. And we were given that child. That child, Jesus, grew up, according to Luke chapter number one, he was very obedient to his parents. That was Mary and Joseph was his earthly father. Jesus was obedient. And the scripture is clear that the boy, the child, increased in wisdom, in stature, um, in favor with God and with men because he was very submitted to his parents. One of the things that submission to parents brings is favor. Especially submission to your biological parents, your earthly parents, it brings a level of favor with it. It will be well with you. This is what the commandment says. It says, honor your father and mother so that uh, it may be well with you on the days of your earth uh, whilst you're living. So it will be well with you if you honor them. The second thing is that if you honor spiritual parents, those that God has set above you as leaders, it will be well with you. Favor actually comes. The heavens actually opened over you. I was reflecting yesterday, and I think the day before yesterday, and I was just checking in, um, this, this is just in my head, it's nothing official, but I was looking at various spiritual camps in the country. And I was saying these people come from this spiritual camp, these ones from this spiritual camp, spiritual camp, like tribes of some sort where we know pastor so-and-so or apostle so-and-so, bishop so-and-so is in charge of the entire camp. 
And so as I was looking at all that, I realized, Tafuma, that there is a certain spiritual camp that seems to make progress in certain areas, whereas others are not making progress in these particular areas. And in particular, those that have been taught submission, how to honor the men of God, how to respect the men of God, there is a level of advancement that they have that others don't have. And so it's always important for the child of God, wherever they are, to be fully submitted to their spiritual parents, to their biological parents. And I'm just going to stay in that neighborhood just for a minute. You must never put your spiritual parents and your biological parents on the same pedestal. Those can't be compared. I often hear people saying, hey, nye, 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 nye. why are you looking after your spiritual father and then your biological parents are not being taken care of? And I think it's a very silly argument. You must never at any turn put these on the same pedestal because God has designated them and assigned them into your life for different purposes, different functions and different assignments. Are you with me today? So then anytime you begin to compare them, you are actually playing into the devil's trap because you're going to dishonor one and then you honor another and then whatsoever the other is supposed to bring into your life, you're not going to get it. But if you honor both, if you honor all of them, it's as though you are just allowing doors to open for you and their heavens to be rent open. So Jesus was obedient very well, very well, very well to his biological father and biological mother. As the scripture has told us, we don't have record of um, when Joseph actually died. Uh, but we just know that at some turn, Joseph's name was just uh, ceased to be mentioned that often in the scriptures. And so in comes Matthew chapter number 3, um, Luke chapter number 4, and John chapter number 1, where Jesus is now 30 years of age, and he meets up with John the Baptist. John, who is a cousin, who is six months older than Jesus. He's a cousin of Jesus, six months older. The Bible says John was in the wilderness of Jordan, rather near the Jordan River, baptizing people. And as he was baptizing people, he made an announcement that behold the Lamb of God, that taketh away the sin of the world. And in came Jesus into the picture. On that day, Jesus went to John, and then he said to John, baptize me, for it is um, prudent that we fulfill all righteousness. And so on that particular day, John handed over his authority to Jesus. John was the man with the legal, um, spiritual legal ground and spiritual legal authority to announce the coming of the Christ did his job. And soon after the baptism of Jesus, the heavens were rent open and a voice was heard. The very first time since the time of Moses that the voice of God was heard, was heard when Jesus came. So this is close to over, over, um, over about a thousand nine years, a thousand point nine years ever since God had spoken in the realm of the earth. Finally, God steps down and then he announces and he says, this is my beloved son in whom I'm all pleased. So now, Isaiah chapter number 9 verse 6 comes into full manifestation. The child was given, rather, the child was born and then the son was given. On that day, the son was given to the rest of the world so that he might come and fulfill his glory be to God that the son Jesus was given to the rest of the world. Had it not been for that utterance and announcement, brothers and sisters, you and me would have not had Jesus fulfill his assignment on the, on the, on the, on the realms of the earth. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. If I could say right now as I preempt, I would say always say yes thank you jesus for the day that you are given to the rest of the world because now redemption to mankind oh shabiba oh i feel it today i feel it i feel it very well i feel it very well i feel god pushing me today thanks be to god for that announcement thanks be to god for that announcement so we're saying always say yes you look at your neighbor and say neighbor always say yes you uh, say uwese, 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 yes, you say it again. And, uh, just have a Nigerian accent attached to it. And, uh, put a Nigerian accent if you can. Just say uwese, yes, uwese, yes, uwese, yes. Hmm. Uh, it's going to be good. In my previous presentation, which was last week, I spoke to you about apodexis, which is essentially demonstrations. 
this is the ministry of proofs. Apodexis is the ministry of proofs. It is the demonstrations. And so in our quest, which is to continue to present the message of Christ in simplicity and with the fervence and fire attached to it, it is necessary then that we talk about Jesus. <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is good that we talk about Jesus, particularly in this Christmas season. We should talk about Jesus. We should talk about and focus on what he did for you and what he did for me as well. Uh, the church must, must, must expand on that message continuously. That is our message. Our message is not motivational speaking. Uh, to tell you that go get money, you will, and we'll tell you once in a while. Uh, but that's not the core of our message. The core of our message is who, what, what, what did Jesus do for you and me? Uh, the, the very core of our message is who is Jesus to you and me? Who is he? The very core of our message is we want to make him known amongst the believers. We want to know him and make him known. If you know him, it is natural to follow through and make him known as well. The reason why they don't make him known is because they don't know him. <laughs> oh, I feel it today. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Let me just ask a question. Who knows a gentleman called Horatio? Horatio. There is a certain gentleman by the name of Horatio. Who knows him? Now, the reason why you can't talk about Horatio is because you don't know him. I know him. I encountered him on my way to Mozambique for the very first time. He was kind to me. He gave me a place to stay. He drove me around. He showed me how Mozambique, particularly Chimoy, is. Horatio was kind to me. If you encounter him, you will make him known. It is not, that's the natural thing to make him known. And so, in our quest to continue in that particular subject, we find ourselves in John 3.16, where the Bible tells us that God loved the world and he gave his only begotten son. The very same utterance that we receive from prophet Isaiah in a prophetic moment. Jesus was given, God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So if you believe in Jesus, and I've got to make that very clear, I've got to make it very clear. It is a wrong statement, I think, to say, I believe in myself. It is very wrong. It is very erroneous because what that paints a picture towards is I have, I have, I have, I have a religion that is attached in myself. But the truth of the life that we live, the truth of what God has called us to is we must believe in Jesus. Mm. So what must I do about myself? I must believe myself. There's a difference. There's a difference. Can I paint it again? Can I paint the picture? You must not believe in yourself. What must you not do? Who must you believe in? Who must you believe in? However, you must believe yourself. There's a difference there. Because the one that believes in Jesus has their faith anchored in Jesus. But the one that believes in themselves have their faith anchored in themselves. And once in a while when you wake up on the wrong side of the bed and you got a mood swing of some sort, whatsoever you are believing in in yourself is going to be shaky ground and it's not going to find stability. In other words, you're going to find yourself changing, doubting, thinking other things because you have anchored your faith and your belief in yourself. But if you're a wise man, Jesus puts it across this way. Blessed is the man and wise is the man that believes in my words and believes in me and acts according to my words. He shall be like a house that's built upon a rock. If, 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 if storms come, uh, if the wind comes, if the rains come, he stable is not going to move and so I am grateful for Jesus we say yes thank you Jesus because I can believe in you wait 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 I 
can believe in Jesus. Are you with me this morning? You guys have come for church, aren't you guys? If your friend is on Facebook or WhatsApp, just slap them and say, get off WhatsApp. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've come for church today. And so, we say yes. Say, we say yes. Come on, say, we say yes. You must believe in Jesus. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to Jesus for the sacrifice of Jesus. Thanks be to God who gave us his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but shall have everlasting life. I have eternal life. I live eternally. I have everlasting life. In other words, I can't die. Uh, I don't talk about a physical death I talk about a spiritual death I have life everlasting I look forward to the day when I get to meet my maker and my creator and give him a big hug and say thank you Jesus we say yes see a bonga Jesus that tender Jesus my tabasa Jesus for allowing me to have my faith and cut in you Shout Uwese. Come on, shout Uwese. Yes, are you with me today? And so when God gave his son Jesus, it was a perfect sacrifice for the human race that had fallen from glory. Because Romans tells us, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Even the one that is born today, it has already sinned because it's born in sin and it's already fallen short of the glory of God. And so what's the case of the one that's born today? We say yes, because he came to restore us back. He was the perfect sacrifice that came to restore me back to glory. I had the right and collusion say Christ in me, the hope of glory. What glory is that? Is the glory that Adam had in the very beginning. We say yes for the glory. Yeah. <laughs> We say yes for the glory that I'm being restored to. Lift up your hands and say, We say yes. Come on, shout, We say yes. So then, who is Jesus? Number one, Jesus is God. Jesus is God. Who is Jesus? Say, Jesus is God. Because the scripture tells us the fullness of the God that dwelt in him, we'll deal with that later. Jesus is the son of sacrifice. Who is Jesus? The son of sacrifice. Jesus is the apostle and high priest of our profession and our faith. That's Jesus. You must come with a notebook to church. Come with a notebook. Jesus is the miracle worker. Who is Jesus? The miracle worker. He is a miracle worker in my life. He is a miracle worker in whose life? In your life, Jesus is the blessing carrier. He carries the blessing. Jesus is the curse remover. He removed the curse. Jesus is the light of the world. That's who Jesus is to you. And so the birth of this Jesus, we'll come back to those seven in a bit. The, 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 the birth of, this, of, 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 of Jesus was on this wise. God sent forth an angel who was the angel Gabriel to a virgin called Mary who was espoused to Joseph. Joseph. And according to Luke 1 26, it begins to read, And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city in Galilee, a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Come on, talk for me. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, verse 28. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, you who art highly favored. But the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at the saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. Verse 30. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for, 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 for you found favor with God. And behold, you shall conceive in your womb and shall bring forth a son. And you shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great and he shall be called the son of the 
highest and the a and and and, and the lord god shall give unto him the throne of his father david huh? and he shall reign over the house of jacob forever and of his kingdom there shall be no end then said mary unto the angel how shall this be seeing i know not a man huh? and the angel said unto her the holy ghost somebody shout the holy ghost uh, come on shout the holy ghost uh, shout at that time the holy ghost uh, the holy ghost shall come upon you and the power of the highest shall overshadow you therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of you shall be called the son of god uh, and behold your cousin elizabeth she also conceived a son in her old age uh, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren for with God nothing shall be impossible I don't know if I have a choice to take these are the scriptures as they are for with God nothing shall be impossible and Mary said behold the handmaid of the Lord be it unto me according to thy word and the angel departed from here brothers and sisters it is this story that introduces the birth of Jesus unto us it's a very beautiful story because one young girl was favored by God not because she had fasted and prayed not because she had gone up the mountain or she had given a big sacrifice but just the working and the sovereign working of God chose to favor a young girl called Mary can I announce today in this Christmas season. Uh, the favor of God does not need an application. Uh, God just decides to favor. And I've come to announce by reason of Jesus. Uh, favor is settling over your life. Uh, by reason of this coming year, I announce favor. I stand as one that stands in the presence of God. Uh, and I say, hail are you thou art favored uh, amongst other women. Uh, you are favored uh, amongst other Zimbabweans. Uh, you are favored uh, amongst other preachers I cannot preach this morning you are favored amongst people your age you are favored in your classroom you are favored where you go to work you are favored in your place of dwelling you are favored in Zimbabwe the favor of the Lord is part and parcel of your life come on shout I receive favor come on preach with me at least shout I receive favor hell, hell, hell. Hell, 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 you Mary, thou art favored amongst other women. In other words, the favor of God rests upon your life. And the Bible says, you shall conceive a child. In other words, you're going to carry divinity in you. Not just that, you're going to carry the gift of God over your life. Can I announce as well on a preaching tone today, there is a gift of God over your life. You are favored. Gifts are coming. I said you are favored. You have the anointing of God over your life. You are favored. You have God on the inside of you. You are favored. You have what Christ has designed for you. Shout, I'm favored. Come on. Shout, I'm favored. You are favored. Are you listening to me today? Hail, oh Mary. You that is favored amongst women. You are favored. You are favored because you're going to carry a child. You are going to carry what has not been carried by the rest of the world. Can I preach properly today? The idea of God in you has not yet been seen in the realm of the earth. What you're about to manifest in the coming year has not been experienced by anybody. There is a preacher amongst preachers that's coming up. There is a singer amongst singers that's coming up. There is a business person amongst business people that's coming up. There is a wife amongst wives that's coming up. There is a husband amongst husbands that's coming up. There is a greater thing that's coming up. I don't know who you are but there is something that the heavens are dropping up. It is the greater thing of God. I've come to preach today. It's the greater assignment of God. How are you favored amongst others? You've got the gift of God. How are you favored amongst others? You've got the thing of God. Shout, we say yes, for the gift of God. Shout, we say yes, for the gift of God. Shout, we say yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Didn't 
I've come for church is the last Sunday. I might as well preach the last sermon I have in me for the year 2021. We say yes to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of God in me. Lift up your hands and shout, We say yes to church is good today I feel it very well I said church is good today we say yes hey oh Mary your favorite amongst women you shall give birth to a son you shall call his name Jesus in other words he's the savior he's the savior of the world thanks be to Jesus for saving the whole world thanks be to Jesus for coming to die for my sins thanks be to Jesus uh, for uh, 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 accepting the call of God. Uh, thanks be to Jesus uh, for allowing himself uh, to be subjected to humanity, for coming in a bodily form uh, and allowing the most humiliating thing uh, on all eternity to take on fallen flesh. Uh, a perfect God uh, took on fallen flesh uh, so that uh, Adam Rupert might lift up his hands on the 26th of December and say, Oh, I say yes, oh, I say yes, oh, I say yes. Let me stay on my notes. And so the Bible says, When this girl received that word, she said, How shall this be? Seeing I know not a man. Come on, Tupuma, don't get tired. How shall this be? Seeing I know not a man. How shall this be? Seeing I know not a man. In other words, describe the miracle to me. Show me the process of getting that makes sense. His bands, show me how God is gonna do it. Then Angel Gabriel says, With God, nothing shall be impossible. The impossibilities of men are the possibilities of God. Can I preach like a fillet now? I said, The impossibilities of men are the possibilities of God. When they say it can't, you stand up, shoulders out, chin up, look them straight in the face uh, and tell them with God uh, it is done uh, with men it's impossible uh, but with the God I serve uh, I don't serve a dead God uh, I serve a living God uh, if God opens uh, no man can shut uh, if God opens uh, no man can shut uh, if God lifts up uh, who dares bring down uh, who will say yes to, uh, for the possibility of God. Who will say yes for the possibilities of God? Church, the year is not yet over. Who will say yes? Thank you, Jesus, for the possibilities that are coming with God. It looks impossible with God. Ah, with God, it looks possible. With men, it's impossible. But with God, it's very possible. It's very possible. Shout, USA, yes. Come on, shout, USA, yes. Is that a shout? Shout, USA, yes. So that I can fix my headgear. Shout USA yes. I say to you, who is Jesus to you? According to Colossians chapter number 2 and 29, Jesus is God. For the Bible says, for in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. So on that day, when the son was born, when the child was born and the son was given, the fullness of God, come on, let's go. The fullness of God found his dwelling place in Jesus. So that Colossians chapter number 2, 26 and chapter 1, 22, 26 and 27 might be fulfilled. That Christ in you, the hope of glory, that the fullness of the Godhead might also find its abode in you. So Jesus came so that God might have a tabernacle in you. You are the carrier of God. 
God. You are the tabernacle of God. Are you listening to me today? Thanks be to God. Thanks be to Jesus. For he gave me an opportunity to be a carrier of divinity. So when I speak in unknown tongues, it is a sign and a reflection and an announcement that God is actually dwelling on the inside of me. I am the temple of God. The apostle Paul said it very well. Your bodies are the temple of God. So we say yes. For in him the fullness of the Godhead found its bodily dwelling. So that Adam Rupert might also be a carrier of God. We say yes. You are now a carrier of God. Thank you Jesus. I am a carrier of God. God, I say to you, Jesus is the son of sacrifice. John 1 29. The next day, John sees Jesus coming unto him and he said, Behold, the lamp of God, which takes away the sin of the world. Jesus came to take away your sins. The reason why he was made manifest was to take away your sins. Are you listening to me today? Don't allow the devil to speak in your head and tell you rubbish about the sins that happened last year. Thanks be to God for the blood. The very blood of Jesus. Jesus is the lamp of sacrifice. He is the son of sacrifice to take away your sins. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. By reason of the lamp. I said you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. In other words, there is no sin over you when God sees you he sing the righteousness of Jesus ay, 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 ay. Three weeks ago, but we're going to Jesus, we're going to the purity of Jesus because He's the lamp of sacrifice, He's the son of sacrifice. When John made that announcement, He wasn't just announcing in Jordan, it was for all eternity. The lamp of God that takes away the sin of the world, the lamp of God that takes away the sin in 1920. The lamp of God that takes away the sin of 1948. The lamp of God that takes away the sin of 1986. The lamp of God that takes away the sin of 2021. Can I announce to you the lamp of God that takes away the sin of 2022? Thanks be to God for the lamp of sacrifice. Shout, Wesley Yesu. Shout we say yes. The lamp of God that takes away the sin of the world. According to Hebrews 3 and 1, he is the apostle and the high priest. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus. So Jesus is the apostle and the high priest of this faith, of this profession. In other words, we have a command in chief ay, 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 ay. are you listening to me today we have a commander in chief his name is Jesus we take instructions from him I don't take instruction from demons I said I don't take instructions from demons I take instructions from the from, from, from the commander in chief if Jesus says I'm blessed it's a settled issue if Jesus says there's now no condemnation, it's a settled issue. If Jesus says I'm sitting in the heavenly places in Christ, it's a settled issue. I don't take commandments from the wicked spirits. I don't care what they may sit down and plan against me. What the commander in chief says, that's the order of my life in 2022. Shut all instruction from demons. Don't sit down to interview them. Have a conversation with Jesus. Uh, hear what he's saying about your life uh, because that's where you get your instructions uh, the apostle uh, and high priest of our profession uh, in other words he offers spiritual sacrifices uh, on my behalf uh, he makes intercessions uh, on my behalf uh, he 
confesses with the Father on my behalf and he says bless Adam who is in Arare Zimbabwe let doors open for Taniwa who is in Arare Zimbabwe let Hazel prosper who is in Arare Zimbabwe let Mary succeed because he is the high priest of my life Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Jesus is the miracle worker. This miracle worker, according to the writing of the epistles, opened the eyes of blind Bartimaeus. You open any blind eyes. If you're spiritually blind, blind eyes are opening. This Jesus uh, healed the ten lepers. Uh, leprosy is a metaphor for sin. Uh, so Jesus heals you, takes away the sins, uh, gives you a new body, gives you a new life. Uh, the miracle worker multiplied bread and he multiplied fish. Uh, in other words, the tender revelation knowledge is coming up, uh, prosperity is coming up, uh, bread uh, is a metaphor. For, 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 for revelation knowledge fish is a metaphor for prosperity I am prospering the miracle worker is causing you to prosper nobody is very nice that the miracle worker is giving you revelation is causing you to prosper prosperity is mine shalak the Hebrew says I am prospering shall prosperity Shout prosperity. This Jesus, uh, who is a miracle worker, restored the widow's son uh, who had died. Uh, he also restored uh, back to life uh, Lazarus. Uh, he also raised uh, the 12 year old daughter that had died. Uh, he is a restorer. Whatever you lost in this year, can I announce uh, the year is not at over? Restoration cometh. Uh, I said, Restoration coming. Mariangu ngai zoke. Ay 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 ay. My relationships angu ngai zoke. I don't know if I have a church today. Mota yangu ngai zoke. Ima yangu ngai zoke. We change every wangu ngai zoke. He restores whatever was gone. I announce restoration. 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 I prophesy before the 29th of December 2021. The heavens are red open. Restoration. Restoration. I stand as an apostle. I read the heavens open. Restoration. Restoration. Shout restoration. Jafuma. According to Galatians 3 and verse 13, uh, Jesus uh, is the curse remover. The Bible says in verse 13 uh, of Galatians chapter number 3, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, uh, cursed is everyone uh, that hangs on a tree. So Jesus uh, is the curse remover. He's the curse remover. He removed the curse over our lives. Can I say it properly? I did not go too far. Whom God go bless, no man go curse. That's why they say in Nigeria, Whom God go bless, no man go curse. Who will say yes? No man go curse me. Who will say yes? The curse is removed. Oh, I say yes, the curse is removed. Can I say it properly? Ropare kuburikwenyu, arina kutukwa, nekuda kwa jesu, anopvisa kutukwa. Oh, I say yes. Shout amen. I'm about to wrap up, shout amen. 
Number six, Jesus is the blessing carrier. As you go to verse 14 of Galatians 3 now, the Bible says that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. Are you listening to that? He is the curse remover, but it's not enough for the curse to be removed. He is the blessing carrier and the blessing store that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So Jesus took away the curse as a blessing career. Christ in me the hope of glory. I have the blessing. Shout I have the blessing. What does the blessing do? The blessing is the empowerment of God to prosper. It causes you to prosper. That's what the blessing does. The blessing causes you to make it to advance. The blessing makes things easy. The blessing causes doors to open when others' doors are being closed in front of them. That's what the blessing of the Lord does. I want you to be blessing conscious in this coming year. Be blessing conscious. If you want a contract, be blessing conscious. Are you listening to me? If you want a job, be blessing conscious. Finally, finally, let's close it up to Puma. Finally, Jesus is the light of the world. Luke 2, verse 32. A light to, 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 to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of all the people of Israel. A light to lighten the Gentiles. Jesus is the light of the world. He is the light of the world to lighten the Gentiles. And so our declaration is Uwese Yesu for coming to the earth in bodily form to redeem our lives. Uwese Yesu for showing us the Father. Uwese Yesu for the promise of the Spirit. Uwese Yesu for the ministry of reconciliation. Uwese Yesu for the ministry of proofs. The reason why I have apodexis is because of Jesus. The ministry of proofs is anchored in Jesus. Blind eyes open as a minister of proofs because of Jesus. Uwese Yesu for the Christmas season. Antiga, Uwese Yesu for the money in my wallet. <laughs> Everything is Uwese Yesu, Antiga. Update your status. Confuse them on Facebook. Antiga. Just write Uwese Yesu and leave it like that. Don't tell them much. Uwese Yesu for the blessing of the Lord. That's over. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, Christmas, as we celebrate it, we celebrate it because of Jesus. Whatever we were doing yesterday was in commemoration, in remembrance of our Lord Jesus. We will talk about it every Christmas season. We will say, we will say yes. Because he did not come had he chosen not to come, mankind wouldn't be redeemed. There would be no church. There would be no church. There would be no church. You wouldn't be able to play that keyboard had it not been for Jesus. You wouldn't be able to sing. You wouldn't be able to give offerings to God had it not been for Jesus. So we say, we say yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the sacrifice. The songwriter said, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Stand with me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on. Yes, 
either in person or online you want to give your life to the Lord or maybe you want to rededicate your life to the Lord you feel like you've been very far away maybe you're saying you want to give your life to Jesus everybody standing don't sit everybody standing just stand with me if you're there let me see by way of hands if you want to give your life to the Lord maybe you want to be born again you said I've never been born again all my life or maybe I was born again but I backslid and I want to rededicate my life to the Lord if you're there just lift up your hand let me see alright I see one hand right there come 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 I want you to walk to the front I want to pray with you that's the reason why I want you to come it's a good thing for this reason Jesus came for this reason Jesus came maybe you're connecting online or maybe you're going to see this later I want to lead you into a prayer where you're going to receive the Lord Jesus my daughter I want you to give your life to the Lord just as you've decided today I'm going to lead you in a prayer where Jesus is going to come into your heart it's about Jesus it's not about making it in life it's about Jesus with Jesus then nothing is impossible the whole church is going to join in every hand lifted up towards the heavens I want you to make this prayer say Heavenly Father I thank you for the gift of Jesus who died for my sins today I receive him and I make him Lord of my life on a day like this I give you my life I give you my heart become Lord of everything that I am I give you a place in my heart let your government find its dwelling in me Heavenly Father I agree today that Jesus died for my sins and that on the third day he resurrected and that on the third day he resurrected today I have life because of him and so I thank you in Jesus name send your Holy Spirit to be with me to dwell in me in Jesus name Amen, Amen. let's clap our hands and celebrate the Lord come I want to pray with you just come lift up your hands Heavenly Father I thank you for this soul that is committed to you Lord today Lord I pray your Holy Spirit to come and envelope find a dwelling place in this heart this is your life Lord this is your daughter she belongs to you Lord everything about her belongs to you I pray a blessing I pray the blessing of the newness of life even over her life in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name church clap your hands and say amen, amen. Jesus thank you Jesus this is the last Sunday of the year thank you Jesus thank him for the past year this is the dream this is the dream this is the dream this is the dream come on come on come on come on come on come on of life.
just stand on citizens. Those giving online, the details are right on the screen. The details are pinned on this podcast. my gift I give in faith I give in obedience the heavens are giving me rain the earth is yielding its strength we say yes for an opportunity to give for an opportunity to honor you in Jesus name go ahead and place your gifts in the offering baskets God bless you God bless you to give an offering basket next to you just put something those of you giving online God bless you for giving God bless you for giving God bless you this unique time where we get to say thank you Lord for the things that you've done for us for honoring us in this year thank you Lord for becoming here my heart is open Lord Jesus to what you give my heart is open to what you bring and to what you give I thank you today Lord I thank you today for what you give and for what you bring my heart is wide open thank you for blessing thank you for the abundance of God's life through me Lord Thank you for the past year 2021 on behalf of Life Excellence Church. Father, I say thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done. Amazingly, Lord, you've allowed us to gather every other Sunday. We've even had every other service on every other Sunday. Lord, we had services every other day of the week. God, I say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For the past 365 days, Lord, I say thank you. Thank you for giving me beautiful people to pastor, to shepherd. Thank you, Lord, for every one of them, Lord, for every offering that they've given. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for touching their hearts to serve in this house. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for giving me a word every other day, Lord. Thank you for every other revelation and every other message. Thank you for every word that was preached from this platform. Thank you for every song that was sung, Lord. Thank you for every miracle that they testified about. Thank you for every blessing, Lord, that you've given to them. Oh, God, this year you were gracious to us. You were gracious to us. You gave us life in abundance. We didn't lose any. You gave us life in abundance. How amazing, Lord. You actually increased us in number. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what's coming in this coming year. I receive it by faith. I receive it by faith. It's so in my life. I receive many sons and daughters. Thank you for the church in South Africa, Lord. Thank you for the church in the UK. Lord. Thank you for the church in the UAE, Lord. Thank you for the church in America. Thank you, Lord, for the church in Australia. Thank you, Lord, for the church in Europe. Thank you for the church in West and North of Africa, Lord. Thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you for the things
things that you have done. My confession this morning, my declaration is worth say yes for the things that you have done. Oh, Father, Pani Katuna Nipianala, Mesa Rede Kadishukuda Bapina Kalera. Thank you for the blessing in abundance that's coming. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. And the church of God, clap their hands and say, Amen. Come on, clap those hands and say, Amen. Clap them and say, Amen. Twenty twenty one has been a beautiful year, Amen. I can boldly say this year was a good year. Can you agree with me there? Hey guys, tired? You're not tired. This year was a good year, didn't you? Tell you it was a good year. It was a good year. Hmm? Good year. How many of you agree? Yes. Say how many of you agree it was a good year? Yes. So you must say thank you to Jesus, aren't you? Yeah. I think the mistake that believers do so much more is to 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 be so anticipating of the following year and ignore what has happened in this past year. Are you with me, right? Yes. Friday, we we came with the speaker and the mixer. It's amazing. It's amazing. God has done that for us. If I don't see that, I'm just an ungrateful little brat who doesn't know how to say thank you to God. Huh? Hello? So let's anticipate a beautiful Christmas in 2022. If you're grateful for what God has done this year, next year will be better. Hey, listen to me. It'll be better because the scripture says from one level of glory to another. That's how it is. So it's one glory level, we move into another, we move into another. That's how God works. But if you're not grateful at this level of glory, you can't tap into the next level of glory. Antega. So send out text message to people. Just say, Uwese. Thank you. Uwese. To them. Just say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of my life. Thank you for being in my world. I sent Apostle Kenneth a message. And I was truly grateful, actually. And I said to him, thank you for doing our flyers. Because he's been doing our flyers. I said, thank you for what you've done. Because you've really put a picture out there for us. Without these, we, we don't have anything. So I was grateful for that. Hey, listen to me. So thank somebody. I thank you for singing. I thank you for serving in church. Thank you for putting the water in the drinks. Antiga, say thank you to somebody. Say thank you. Say, say thank you. Say thank you. Say thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tefuma, for playing every day. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, church. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. Have a beautiful, beautiful um, Sunday afternoon until we meet again um, on Friday. 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 Friday crossing over into 2022. What time? We are going to start at um, 9.30. 10.30, 30. Yeah, start at 9.30. It's going to be a very lengthy service, uh, but it's going to last for about five hours. We've never done a five-hour service. Um, hopefully, it's going to be 9.30. If it's not 9.30, then 10 o'clock definitely will be starting. But the doors are going to be open by, by 7. The doors will be open by 7. We'll close them at 10 o'clock when we then start our program. Um, so let's put it at 10.30, but I'll put out a flyer for it. I'll put out a flyer. Just check on social media. I think I'll put out a flyer for 10 o'clock. 10, 11. Yes, I think two hours are good until we transition into that. Then it's going to be good. Amen. <laughs>